The Ole Miss football team is filled with conquerors, some that get their success and glory from fantastic plays on the football field, and other individuals such as Dylan Dyer that battled and beat cancer. Some days it was, I did not want to get out of bed, especially the week of treatments, but you know, I, I handled it. It worked out good with me. I didn't lose all my hair like they told me would. You know, I had thinned out, but I kept my hair and I still had my beard and everything, so I was lucky, I was fortunate. Dyer was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in the summer of 2014 after finding a grapefruit-sized tumor in his chest. But the cancer didn't keep Dyer away from football. He continued with workouts and supported the team in the stands. You know, it's just, I just, I come during practice, uh, went to the training room, I did some exercise, tried to stay in shape. I didn't do anything too, too much. They, they were really careful with me. Uh, I really didn't work out with weight, so I lost, I lost a lot of weight, put it like that. And then I just, I watched practice afterwards. I mean, I've honestly never seen somebody work so hard when they've ha like, he literally was battling cancer and never missed a workout and never missed a practice. I know he had to drive down to Jackson once a, like once a month to do chemo, or once every couple of weeks to do chemo. And then radiation, he had to drive down once a day, and he never missed practice or a workout. And it's something that not many people would have done. For Dyer, the process was long and difficult, but it was the people in this building that helped him along the way. Football coaching staff and his teammates supported Dyer throughout the entire process. They also helped him get back on the field and ready to play. I tell everybody, it's like you wake up one morning, and you go to workouts and you think you're having a bad day when you get out of bed. And you know, your life changes instantly when you tell you have a uh, grapefruit sized tumor in your chest. You don't know where you're gonna go. And uh, luckily it worked out fine with me, but people just sometimes people don't realize how fast your life can change. Dyer considers himself fortunate and thankful that others can use him as an example to never lose hope. For Newswatch, Mackenzie Mitchell.